Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're using scraps to make a card. Um, I don't have written re measurements for you because we're going to be working on the fly a little bit. We will write down the measurements so you have uh, what I used to make my card, but you're going to be using whatever scraps you have at hand to make your own cards. Let's go ahead and get started. So before we start, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you know when you're when I post a new video. If you go to mariascraftroom.com, you will see written instructions, additional pictures, and links to the other projects that I've done in the past. Okay, so this is Fresh as a Daisy DSP, Designer Series Paper, and every time I make a card, I end up with all these little bits and pieces. So I like to make cards with my pieces, so to not be wasteful. So I've already kind of pre-looked at what I've got here. I'm selecting pieces that match in size or color. So these two match in size and color. And you have the option to use whichever side you want, of course. This one is the same color, but it's not quite the same size, so we'll see if we can use that. And these two, same size, similar coloring. So we're going to try to make something out of these pieces here. Okay. All right, so this is all fresh as a daisy. But, you know, that's the beauty with these things is you're going to just use what you have. So I will write down my measurements that I'm using here, what we end up with, um, in case you want to make this similar card to mine. But use the pieces that you have and cut around to make them fit for you. Okay, so this is my general idea. I'm going to do something like this. So I have that white outline, right, that I like to have. And then these two, these are all color coordinated, right? They all have this yellow and they kind of kind of match. So we could do, since these are the same size, we could do something like this, right? Or we could do something like this and cut off the excess to make it a square, right, a rectangle. Or we could do this, which I think is my favorite. I did play a little bit around with this before I started rolling. We could do that. And now this stripey, we can either leave it longer than the than this yellow behind it, or we could or we could cut them to size to make them match. I think I'm actually going to leave it long. So I'm doing minimal cutting. I'm using actual pieces, just leftover pieces that I had. And then this one, I think we're going to use our double oval punch. To We'll use this piece to get the background piece, the scalloped oval, and then we'll use a little scrap of white to make our sentiment. And I'm pretty sure that Have a Beautiful Birthday will fit inside that oval, the small oval. So let's go ahead and see, let me go ahead and measure my pieces so that I know what, I've, what I'm making here and we'll go from there. Okay, so the card base is four and a quarter by five and a half, standard card base. My two lower pieces here are three and three quarters. This is a DSP. So whatever DSP you're using by two. And I'm using two of those. Because those are the same. These two are the same in coordinating colors. And these are four by two and two thirds. And this we're just going to call a scrap. And basic white, we're going to use a scrap of that as well. Okay, so that's your basic cutting instructions. I'll put this in the blog after I'm done with this. When the video airs, I'll already have the blog already done for you. So let's go ahead and glue some of this down so that we can get started. 
and then I'll we'll see what else we can come up with to add to make this card even nicer. Okay, so we're just going to put these on the edges, leave a nice little border. Penny's running it. Oh my goodness, I put glue on the yellow. Well, do we want to do that? That's not what I had planned. Will it work? Well, we can make it work. Let's just see what we let's just see what happens. <laughs> Happy little accident there. Okay. Well, let's see, do we still want to do that? Oh, let's see. That's not going to match because I've got two competing flowers now. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if I've got another scrap of that same. I do. Is it the same size? Well, we got lucky there. All right, so we'll just throw that one out and make sure I glue the right side this time. You see liquid glue very forgiving I wouldn't have been able to do that with the stronger adhesives that we have all right so we're just gonna put this down I'm lucky that's a really lucky find that I didn't have to cut another piece happen to have that okay so this one I think we're gonna go ahead and leave it longer than the than the side pieces I do believe I like that We'll go ahead and glue this one down and we'll decide if we want to use a ribbon um, before we put this one down. Penny is pattering around over there. I'm going to use my grid lines to see how to center this piece. Oh, I think she wants to go outside. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I like that. Just a minute, Penny. And then this one we're going to go sideways. Now, I think I have, I do, I have some gold ribbon. This is satin edged ribbon. Look at that beautiful gold. I think we should go around this. Now, we could have gone around here. I didn't do that to begin with, but we can just go around here and do it that way. Let's just do that. Penny, just a minute, honey. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this ribbon just to go around this piece. So we're going to go right around there. And that is five and a half inches. You could cut six and be safe. And we're just going to go right around this and we'll glue that down. We could use liquid glue. I think I want to use um, tear and tape. We could use glue dots. Let's use glue dots. I ran out of um, the adhesive, the um, stamp and seal. I ran out and I haven't made another order. So we're just going to use what we have here. Let's center this. Penny, just a minute, honey. And then we'll just... I'm using my grids to try to get this ribbon centered. I know how she wants to play. She's bringing me a ball. Well, that worked really well. That worked really well. Very easy to use. <clears throat> and they stick really well. Okay, so now this I'm just going to use... Do we want to go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put this down with liquid glue. I'm 
I love using scraps. Use everything you have available. We're just centering this. And that will serve to anchor that ribbon as well. Now, before we go further, let me write down the ribbon. Was five and a half to six inches. Okay, enough to wrap around. All right, now this little piece we're going to cut the the wavy oval, and then we need a white small piece of white to do the sentiment. So let me oh, let me go ahead and do the stamping. And we'll cut it out after. We could do it the other way, it does not really matter. Let's see, where's my samples here? I have a beautiful birthday, will fit in the small oval. So that's what we're going to do. Have a beautiful birthday. That's the one. Oops. And we're going to use crushed curry because that's what this is in the background. Just a minute, Penny. She was up in my lap a little while ago. We're not on screen. Okay, I've got a little bit of an over, over ink there. Let's try this and we'll see if I can't make that work. We'll just stamp it again if it doesn't. If I can't get it to work. Let's see. I'm going to put this in here and try to get this little oval. Okay, I need a handle, which just means a little piece of sticky note so that I can handle this small piece of paper and put it right in here. We can save that. Have a beautiful birthday. And if any of those little pieces do show through, we've got a little bit of extra yellow here at the top. We'll just put a little bling there to cover it. Okay, so let's put these two together. I think we should put that up on dimensionals. Let me close this before I put my hands in it. And I'm going to use the edges of my dimensional sheet um, just because I like to use uh, my all of my little scraps up. And I'm using a, an old pair of scissors with my sticky gluey things. Just a minute, Penny. She wants to play. She's already been out. You've already been out, sweetheart. I will take you out in just a minute. Let me finish this video. Okay. So we're gonna put this up right here. Beautiful. And then we'll put this here we can put this on dimensionals as well. I think we will. We want dimensionals on either side of this ribbon. So we'll go on the top and on the bottom. So that we are, I haven't taken that sticky off yet. So that we stick on, e, on the card and not necessarily just on the ribbon. Otherwise it'll wiggle. Okay. Very nice. I like it. Very little cutting here. All right. And then on the inside, let's see, what sentiment do we want on the inside? Have a beautiful birthday. Let's do live your biggest dream on the inside. Believe your biggest dream. That's very pretty. We'll just do that on the inside. So 
center this. So pretty. I love this. I'm surprised. I'm not usually a yellow person, but this crushed curry is really pretty. And it matches so nicely. And then we'll just add a little bling to cover that little boo-boo there at the top. Let's see. We have some options. We can use pastel adhesives, which has this gold. We can use rhinestones, which has more of a pinky tone. I think I like this yellow. Or we could use neutrals. Or we could use neutrals because this has gold and copper. I think we'll use we'll use this one. We'll use this. I've got large ones and small ones. Let's put a small one right here to cover that. And we'll put two over here on the bottom. I like to make these in threes. I think they look better. Very nice. I like that. Okay. So, what do we think of our scrappy card? Have a beautiful birthday. Live your biggest dream. Penny is barking in the background. I hope you like my videos. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I post a new video. Leave me some comments. Give me suggestions. Do you think I should have used um, cut this yellow? to match the two side pieces, what would you have done differently? Um, do you like the yellow? Let me know. Give me your thoughts. Thanks for watching.